Heat wave. We have noticed a rise in recent gun violence. A string of shootings over the hottest weekend so far this year has left three people dead and others recovering in the hospital. Fox 12's Julia Lopez is live tonight with the details. So, Julia, where is this all happening? Well, the shootings this weekend we've seen have happened all across the city, unfortunately. Though the violence the past few days has mostly been concentrated here on Portland's east side. Six shootings since July 4th. As the temperature rises across Portland, so has violent crime. Police say half of those shootings were deadly. One drive-by early Sunday morning killed one person and left a teenager hospitalized. When we left, police section caution take this whole area off. On Southeast 9th Avenue between Ankeny and Ash, police responded to shots fired just before 1.15 a.m. Sunday. When they arrived, they found two people hurt. They were both taken to the hospital where one victim died and the other, a 17-year-old, is still recovering but expected to survive. No arrests were made. They say dozens of shots were fired, they believe, from a moving car. That's because cars and buildings all along 9th Avenue were sprayed with bullets, including a car belonging to Sylvia Zhang, who parked to enjoy a night out with friends and returned to find her car damaged. Oh, maybe my car, what if it has some bullets in there and I come back? My car had four bullets. I don't know if it's even safe to drive because I can't even see them out of my driver window. She says she visits this area often and this is her first bad experience. My car has never been involved in a crime scene before. I've never been involved in a crime scene before, so this is very new to me. I don't know what to do. Six miles north an hour earlier, another shooting off of Northeast 82nd Avenue. Police found a body in the parking lot of the Madison Suites Motel around midnight Saturday. No arrest was made. The motel has not responded to our request for comment. 24 hours before that shooting, across the river in Old Town, police responded to shots fired on Northwest 3rd Avenue in Everett. The victim died in the hospital. Again, no arrests made. This is in addition to three non-deadly shootings reported in the city since Thursday when we saw temps start to rise into the 90s. Local sociology professor Randy Blazak tells me violent crime increasing with temperature is a predictable trend. He says in large part that's due to a rise in alcohol consumption, but also the fact that more people are out and about. This is actually making me think twice before going back out to, to a late night bar or club again. If you have any information about any of these shootings, you're asked to contact Portland Police. Live from Southeast Portland, Julia Lopez, Fox 12, Oregon.